Sorry, ma'am. Where did he go? He's up there. Here, call for backup. All right. Toby Logan, yeah, I agree. All right, look, just get here quickly. He drew on me. I didn't have a choice. How's it going? Hey, how's Michelle doing? Well, she's got her game face on. I think it's wearing on her. It's never easy. And that's why I like this job, you know? I prefer the stitching them up, helping to make them feel better part of the equation. Me too. Kind of miss it. All right. Have a good one. See you. I received a tip at Morgan Stern had counterfeit money plates in his possession. That's a huge break. Yeah. He's the poster boy for disappearing acts. So we had to move fast. Who's the source? It's anonymous. Blocked number. I back-channeled word we were interested to anyone that cared to share. He had lots of enemies. And you brought Toby into all this without backup? Yeah, well, have you ever tried to shake Toby in an emergency? Look, I gave him the lowdown, and he insisted on coming. Since when is that his call? Well, for a team. Uh, when we work together, we know each other's moves. He could have escaped without Toby being there. All right. Well, you know the drill. I booked you an appointment with a psychologist. Yeah, OK, just get the shooting team in as soon as possible, OK? I have too much on the go to get sidelined by their schedule. I will tell them it's a priority. Hospital parts hack. How goes the search? We've covered the alley. No sign yet of the dead guy's gun. Uh huh. Do me a favor. Cover it again. Goes without saying, sir. I've also got officers checking the roof, the fire escape landings, window ledges, and any other possible crevices I may have landed in on the way down. Appreciate you throwing this, Constable. Hey. Hey. How'd she do with the psychologist? I don't know yet. Her door's locked, her phone's off, and she's just sort of staring at stuff. Right, per procedure. So when's the shooting team get here? Uh, I don't know, but I hope soon. Uh, we don't get Michelle back until they sign off, and there's been some new developments. Oh, yeah? Would you talk to Metro? Yeah, they searched Morgan Stern's room. There's no sign of any counterfeit plates or any illegal doings whatsoever. You're kidding. Oh, great. So that means that anonymous tip was crap. Yeah. Michelle's gonna want to eat that guy for breakfast. We gotta find him, serve him up on a platter for him. Yeah. Hey, Hans, what's up? Hey, buddy, uh, I got a line on some Raptors tickets for tonight. I know you're busy, but they're playing the Lakers, so it'll probably be a bloodbath. Do you want to come with me? Uh, you know, I, I got to get back to you on that one, OK? I'll tell you what, I'll get the tickets anyway, and then if we can't use them, I'll just find a way to get rid of them. Sounds good. Hey, what gives? I ordered a sexy nurse like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Bye. OK, that was worth the wait. Hey, um, guess what? What? I heard that Langley is stepping down as head of emergency services. And they're looking internally for a replacement. Really? Are you going to throw your head in the ring? Not me, you. What? Sandy, I just passed my supervisor's exam. What are you talking about? OK, they're looking for someone who can bring emergency services, the paramedics, and the hospital together. Oz, you're that guy. I mean, I have my foot in both worlds, but wait, I can't do that to Ryder. After all he's done for me, he'd kill me. Here's a posting. They're doing interviews today. We can still get you in. Doesn't give me a lot of time to prepare, say. Ah, you're handsome, you're charming, you're quick on your feet, you'll be fine. I am charming. And just think, we'd actually get to spend a little more time together. Mm. And there's a really nice salary bump. Wait, I, you don't know how much I make, how do you know? You make more than that? Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Do me a favor. Sure. Send Officer Brian over in a second. Let me just finish it. I'll catch up with you. The lab boys are wrapped up here. Anything on your end? Good news and bad news. 
Bad news first. We haven't recovered the gun. And the good news? We still have some more ground to cover. I'm a glass half full kind of guy. The gun will turn on. Glass half full kind of guy. All right. Well, when it does, be sure to notify me right away. You'll be my first call. Please tell me you found the gun. It's a work in progress. Where are we with this tipster? Well, I ran Michelle's phone records. Her source called from a payphone. Those still exist. I don't think I've seen one of those in years. <laughs> you haven't been to a sketchy coffee shop in a while, have you? The call came from a place called Lucky's Coffee and Donuts. I sent a unit, but unfortunately, there were no usable prints on the phone, and no one saw the caller, so not all that lucky. Can I help you? Staff Sergeant Slater. This is Staff Sergeant McCoy, Internal Affairs. We're here to see Sergeant McCluskey. Well, she's sequestered. She's waiting on a shooting team debrief. The shooting team won't be coming. We're taking over the investigation. Based on what? That information is strictly on a need-to-know basis. Well, I need to know. We're talking about my best operative here. Alvin. I'm Sergeant McCluskey. Look, if this is about my unpaid parking tickets, I'm contesting them all in court. I'm pretty sure the traffic officer had a crush on me. You're under investigation for the shooting death of Matt Morgenstern. What, did the shrink say I didn't wring my hands hard enough or something? I hope you can appreciate how serious this matter is, Sergeant. Yeah, of course. Look, I just want to clear this up as quickly as possible. I have other active cases on the go at the moment. Your unit is free to continue its work without you while we conduct our investigation. We're going to need your hardware. You are removed from active duty until we complete our investigation, at which point, based on our findings, you may face criminal charges. If so, a union lawyer will be appointed to you. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. We've been over this 20 times. Well, let's make it 21. I received a tip that Morgan Stern had counterfeit money plates in his possession. I was given an address where I could find him, but told he was about to go back underground. And you vetted this tip. You background checked your source. I didn't have time. Didn't have time for a lot of things, like arranging a search warrant. Well, he would have been long gone before I had a chance to use it. OK, take us through what happened when you arrived at the rooming house. While you were there, did you see any counterfeit plates? No, but we didn't have time to do a thorough search. Morgan Stern was on the run. In your haste, could you have alerted him to your presence prematurely? No, we followed proper procedure. You said that you tracked Morgan Stern to another apartment, but what isn't clear is how. How did you know where he was hiding? Still in the building. Intel. I had Corporal Clark examine a building schematic to look for alternate exits. The room in question, it had a balcony with street access. Continue. We entered just as he was exiting to the fire escape. I had map. Which way did he go? You all right? You're OK? <laughs> Morgan Stern made it out onto the street, and we followed. Where did he go? He's up there. Once we were on the roof, I had my partner take cover and call for backup while I continued to look. Morgan Stern had backtracked towards the fire escape, and he was about to descend when I spotted him. I am Stop right there! I yelled for him to stop, and that's when he went for his weapon. What kind of weapon? It was, um, a uh, Beretta, I think, but I, I didn't get a good look. And was it in his right hand or his left? His right hand. Morgan Stern is left handed. Well, it all happened very fast. So you can't say for certain? Hey. Why are they coming down so hard on Michelle? I don't know. It's coming down from on high. Superintendent Price? No, he's in our corner. Someone higher than him, even. I'll poke around upstairs, see what I can find out. All right. Well, that gun's got to be somewhere, right? The 
Paramedics, they were there early on the scene. Maybe one of them saw something. I can give them a call. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do that. All right, I will. Hey, uh, if we don't find this gun, I mean, how bad is it going to be for Michelle? It's not going to be good, but she has you to back her up, right? Yeah. Heat of the moment, your heart's racing, adrenaline's surging. Your eyes can play tricks on you. I know what I saw. He had a gun. Yet to earlier, you weren't sure if there was a gun. He had a Beretta, I think. That's not what I said. That's actually exactly what you said. Well, that's not what I meant. Let's move on, shall we? Tell us about your ex-husband, Adam. We've reconciled, and I don't see how this is relevant to your investigation. What the? Checkered past, dear man. He made his mistakes. It's behind him now. What is the connection here? Morgan Stern was a heavy gambler. Poker, that's your husband's game. Adam doesn't play anymore. Well, the source told us that your husband and Matt Morgan Stern shared a high stakes poker table at the end of last year. Well, that would be news to me. Hmm. Morgan Stern's rumored to hold some big markers. A lot of people owe him a lot of money. If your husband's one of them. This is crazy. You guys have no evidence. None of this will stand up in court. I mean, really? This, this is the best you have? Ashley, Sergeant, we're just getting started. One of the paramedics saw a homeless guy at the scene. Homeless guy standing around at a crime scene. You really think he'd just take a gun? Well, I hope so, man. We tried everything else. Did you even get a flash that he was still here? How do you know? Well, it's just the closest part to the alley. That's good work, Murdoch. Oh, thanks, Crabtree. Hey, you think this is the guy? Right here? Uh-huh. Hey, how are you? I'm Toby. This is my buddy Oz. Hi, it's your name. They called me Fisher. Fisher, all right. Kind of hoping you could help us out. We're looking for something that's gone missing. <laughs> Army old buddy. I lost kidneys some time ago, and I still don't know where to find it. Well, a kidney's pretty important. So we're, we're actually also looking for something important. Yeah, we're looking for something connected to a crime. No. I'm innocent. Whoa. I'm innocent. OK. I'm innocent. Yeah. All right, calm down. Yep. Any chance you were near Foreman Avenue early this morning? Yes, I was dumpster diving down there. Cop showed up. Heard yelling. Adam, stop Woman's voice. Uh, you hear anything else? L loud, like bang. It was gunshot. But you didn't leave, right? I mean, you were stuck around. You were waiting around, looking around. So it's free country. All right. Uh, we're on, we're uh, on your side, I didn't man. didn't do nothing wrong. All right. right. I was wondering maybe if you had picked up uh, a gun. No. Hell. All right. If I if I did, I would trade for a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. I, I got to move. It's really cold. So. All right. See? Get moving. It's, yeah. Thank you. Keep warm. Yes. He's telling the truth. Is he? Yeah. I'm just trying to help Michelle here, you know? Hey, I get it, man. She's your partner. She'd go through a wall for you, right? Yeah. We'll find the gun, Toby. Okay, you were there on the roof. You saw the gun in the guy's hand. We will find the gun. I saw a glint. A glint? Toby, a glint could be anything. A wristwatch, bracelet, keys. Or a gun. Could be a gun. You're not sure he had the gun, are you? Man, if you're not sure he had the gun, this becomes a whole other thing. What do you think I don't know that? Superintendent. We're not talking. Since when can friends talk? Sergeant McCluskey is under investigation. I can't make it go away. She's innocent. It was a good shooting. I guess that's what the investigation will discover then. Well, it's not that simple. It should have been an SIU interview. Someone triggered internal affairs on her before she had a chance to catch her breath. Alvin, I don't know who it is, but between us, I tried to stop it. IA already had their orders. And once they open the file, they're the only ones who can close it. What if I can prove her innocence? Can I count on your support? You get me proof. We'll make this disappear. But if you can't, this witch hunt is going to end up in a burning. You're trying to take this man down for how long? A few years. A few years. Did you say uh, he was an obsession? Morgan Stern floated millions of dollars in counterfeit bills. Even more in credit card fraud. He was a sleaze and he ruined people's lives. Of course, I wanted to take him down, but there are far worse criminals out there to obsess over. He wasn't worth it. 
It's interesting that you talk about the lives ruined by Morgan Stern. Is it? Inspector Leo McCluskey? He ran the major crimes unit for Metro. He tussled with Morgan Stern, didn't he? He never caught him. It's a shame what happened to your father's career. Dishonorably discharged in 96. You know, some say it was, uh, it was Morgan Stern who put the fix on your father that led to his downfall. That was a rumor. Why keep it from us? I didn't keep it from you. It isn't relevant. Everything's relevant, Sergeant. Gives you motive. This is insane. I'm a cop. I am not a criminal. And that's for us to decide. I'm sorry, what, what exactly is there for you to decide? Whether this was an act of self-defense in accordance with the law or an execution. Klein, I got something. I just spoke to a witness who was in the alley around the time of the shooting. He saw a Metro squad car pull into the alley before the shot was fired. No lights, no sirens. Well, you called for backup, right? Yeah, seconds before the shot was fired. There's no way a car gets there that fast. Could it be a coincidence? A sketchy neighborhood, unrelated investigation, crossing paths? No, a squad car was in the alley before Morgan Stern fell. I'll get Deb to check with Metro Dispatch and see what cars were in the vicinity, who the first responder was. Mr. Klein, would you have Corporal Clark report to the conference room, please? Of course. I also would like a private word with you. Hey. Hey. How'd it go in there? Well, they wanted to know how I knew Morgan Stern was still in the building. I couldn't exactly tell them you're a telepath. No, they'd shut us down. Yeah, I, um, I said that Dev was feeding us intel. They didn't buy it. That's why they called him in. Right, well, he's a smart guy. He's going to see the trap and steer clear of it. Yeah. You want a coffee? Yeah. So he had no idea that McCluskey's father had also investigated Morgan Stern. This is the first I've heard of it. And you didn't examine the case history before authorizing his daughter to take over the case. Michelle's an excellent detective. I don't check her homework. I don't have to. She had an angle. She tracked him down. I said, go for it. Well, that is an interesting approach to team leadership and responsibility. You're trying to imply something. Why don't you just come out and say it? That you're not in control of your officers or even aware of their motivations? Excuse me? Michelle picks up one of her father's old cases and now she's crooked? Do you want character references? I'll give you dozens from people you have to respect. You know, you might find that you have fewer friends in high places than you thought just as soon as the facts come out. Cup of sugar, a bit of coffee, just the way you like it. Thanks. So, how are you feeling? Have we found the gun? Not yet. Then I've been better. It's just a matter of time before I'm called in. Is there anything that I should know? Like what? How sure are you that he had a gun? You were there, you saw it go down? I have to be sure, I had to ask. I've got your back, don't doubt that. He had a gun. Why didn't you tell me you had a personal interest in Morganster? I didn't. Really? Because I just heard he cost your old man his career. You're saying you didn't know? My dad worked hundreds of cases. Do you want me to flag every single one that got away? I just covered for you in there and I felt like an idiot. Hey, easy. Stay out of this. The appearance of objectivity, full disclosure, that never occurred to you. I'm sorry, Alvin, I never really picked our cases based on whether or not I could cover your ass. And for the record, we've worked several cases that you had a personal stake in, and I never once questioned your judgment. Sergeant McCluskey put you on the fast track, recommended you for promotions normally reserved for more experienced officers. I have skills that more experienced officers don't. Hmm. You're referring to your criminal background in hacking? I was investigated, never charged. Even after she learned of your past, she stood by you, trusted you, even elevated your career. If you're in some way saying that I'm blinded by loyalty, uh... How did Morgan Stern come to your attention? He was a person of interest in a number of fraud cases. Sergeant McCluskey had been tracking him since her days as a regular RCMP. She needed a tech profile to help narrow down his location, activity, targets. But you were unsuccessful. He stayed one step ahead of any counterfeiting technology. He was good. In order to catch a guy like that, you got to get him in the process of making or moving bogus cash. Hmm. 
How did McCluskey react to this alleged tip? She was fired up. We all were. She thought after years of tracking this guy, she finally had something. She spent years on this case? Did you say she was obsessed? I'd say she was committed. It's a fine line sometimes, isn't it? During investigations, is it common for you to provide remote technical support? Absolutely, whatever the team needs. And in this case, Sergeant McCluskey claims that you were providing schematics on the building where Morgan Stern was found. Yeah, that's correct. Huh. Yeah, our records show that the building was built in 1902 and that no schematics exist on record. Thanks for coming here with me. Come on, it's what partners do. You know, after my dad was discharged, he was never the same. Losing his career the way he did, it didn't just destroy him. It killed him. That's not gonna happen to you. Well, we don't have a gun. Morgan Stern is somehow connected to my father and to Adam. I mean, the IA thinks I was out to get him. Well, it feels like someone's trying to get you. I should have just let him get a shot off. What are you saying? I mean, you did nothing wrong. You did what you had to do. Yeah, well, tell that to Klein. He knows. He's just upset that you held something back from him. He'll get over it. I don't want to talk about it. But that's not a problem for you, is it? You know, you can just go into my head. I'm sure Klein has asked you to, right? He probably ordered you to. He didn't, Michelle. All right? If he did, I would refuse. You got to trust me here. You're doubting yourself. You're second-guessing yourself. We got your back. We're going to get to the bottom of this witch hunt. I got a date on the hot seat. I got to get back. I'll drive you. Thanks. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. Oh, uh, how'd the interview go? Let me tell you something. I didn't even want this job in the first place, okay? Sandy gets me all these ideas, and then I'm in the interview, and I'm starting to realize all the changes I can make in here, and I realize this is a dream job for me. That sounds good, brother. No, that's not good. You know how I get when I want something? I was sweating like a drug meal on prom night. I was making just really inappropriate jokes. You know, I told the joke about the four nuns and the holy water. That is not joke material for an interview, my friend. I completely blew it. I can't imagine it was that bad. You know what? At least I don't have to have that conversation with Ryder about leaving EMS. I was not looking forward to that. Thank you very much. You did it. You did it. You got the job. Toby, I'll call you back. What are you talking about? I got the job. How do you know? Okay, I may, I may have offered Langley's executive assistant lunch in exchange for, you know, some information. I don't understand. They decided already they must be interviewing hundreds of people. This is a hospital for crying out loud. Shut up. Kate, okay, the point is they're putting together an offer. You did it. You're going to be the new head of emergency services. I'm the new head of emergency services. <laughs> so this anonymous tip, did you hear the call personally? No, I did not hear the call. Um, Michelle took the call in her office. How'd she react? Well, afterwards, she was excited. You know, we've been trying to find this guy for a while. Hmm. Did she tell you that her father had pursued this man for several years? No. Do you now see her enthusiasm in a different light? No. Just to confirm, you're a consultant? Yeah. Can you tell me exactly what it is that you do? Yeah, I, I read facial expressions, uh, figure out where people are coming from, whether they're telling the truth or not. Do you have any uh, any formal training, any certification for that? It's a gift. I was born with it. Hmm. It's pretty accurate, actually. Um, we could do a test right now, if you'd like. <laughs> I don't think that'll be necessary. Let's move on. Um, how would you describe your working relationship with Sergeant McCluskey? Professional, honest, uh, respectful. It's a, it's a true partnership. Maybe close? Yeah, but not the way you mean. Did you see Morgan Stern's weapon? Uh, I was coming around the corner when the shot was fired. So that's a no? No. I saw something, a glint. A glint is not a gun, Mr. Logan. No, it isn't, but it's something. And I saw the face of a cornered criminal intent on escape. Wait, can I ask you a question? Why are you out to get Michelle? She's a problem. She's a problem. It's time she gets she dealt with. We're internal affairs, Mr. Logan. We're not out to get anybody. The evidence speaks for itself. What does the evidence say? Whatever we Whatever wanted to. We wanted to. Uh, the investigation's ongoing, Mr. Logan. Until that changes, we're not at liberty to discuss our findings with you or anyone else for that matter. Is that true, Miss McCoy? No one else knows how this is going to end? Look, your reaction to your partner's situation is understandable. It's even admirable. 
that you put your lives in each other's hands every day. But our objective here, our job, is to get to the bottom of what really happened. If you're trying to intimidate us, Mr. Logan, you won't succeed. Someone already has. We're, we're done here. Thank you. I know I'm out of line. Just tell me why they're pushing so hard. Fairweather friends. Apparently it's cold outside. How'd you do? Did you get anything? Someone's gotten to McCoy. They've sent her after Michelle. This is not an investigation. It's a setup. Hey, you. This was a nice surprise. You never call me during the day. What's up? I, um, I shot and killed someone. Now I'm under investigation. You okay? It was Matt Morgan's turn. You didn't tell me you started gambling again. It was only three times, Mish, okay? No high stakes, and he was at one of the games. It was nothing. They think I did it to cover your debt. Well, that is crazy. It was one game, and I came out a couple hundred bucks ahead, all right? It's the truth. I can get you witnesses. They're just, they're trying to get at me through you, through my friends. They even dug up my dad's history. All right, you should not be alone today. I'm gonna shut down the club. No, no, it's okay. Look, it's fine. Go back to work. I just, I wanted you to know what was going on. Mish, I'm not leaving you alone today. End of story. I don't get it. Why would Internal Affairs want to set up Michelle? They don't. McCoy's just a pawn for someone else. Well, whoever's behind this must have known her connection to Morgenstern and set them both up. Yeah, and his amazing ability to escape. But they took that option off the table. Meaning it's him or her. Either way, discredit the survivor. Well, I'm starting to get why no one found Morgan Stern's weapon. And why his squad car showed up to the party uninvited. Yeah, I checked. Okay, there was no official dispatches from that area before your call for backup. That squad car had no business being there. Well, at least police business, maybe they're tracking Morgan Stern. What, just to grab the gun that would exonerate a fellow officer? Doesn't that sound like an episode of The X-Files to you? <laughs> Well, then someone tell me why Metro's duty officer hasn't replied to my request for badge numbers, notes, scene reports. Even if there was a dirty cop on the scene, what are the odds a gun's gonna end up in the alley? Or maybe it was a spur-of-the-moment decision. A little bonus insurance? One more nail in Michelle's coffin. Mr. Klein, a moment. What's the verdict? I'm afraid our initial findings meet the criteria for Sergeant McCluskey's immediate relief of active duty. For how long? What's the next step? It's formal charges for Metro Homicide. Thank you for your cooperation. We'll be in touch. to destroy a woman's career based on the actions of her father. Every bit as stubborn as her old man. She won't let it go. We're investigators, Mr. Logan. We don't create the facts. We just do our homework. Really? Well, you got it wrong this time. But we both know that's intentional, don't we? Mr. Logan, let it go. The door. Yeah. Okay, we're now inside Metro's database. What am I looking for, exactly? We're looking for photos of the top brass. Okay, not a problem. If they're on the force, they should be in the archive. We'll go through them one by one. Just say when. All right. All right, what's so important that you hey. couldn't tell me on the phone? Thanks for coming in. All right, so I was right. McCoy's working for someone outside the agency. But it's much bigger than we thought. 
Uh, yeah, he's supposed to be untouchable. Who the hell is that kind of reach? It's Mitchell Police. He's high up. Uh, that tracks with getting someone inside internal affairs. So who is this guy? You got a name? Better. Take a look. Walter Heath, the deputy chief. You know this guy? Yeah, we worked on a judicial committee together years ago. His service record is the stuff of legends. He's my go-to guy when I need local cooperation in a hurry. All right, so he knows us. He knows Michelle. And a case against Morgan Stern. Interagency briefings are CC'd to his office. So could this guy put a below-the-radar police tail on Morgan Stern? Sure. But why? What's his motive? Sounds like Morgan Stern had quite a knack for staying one step ahead of the cops. Just want to make sure everything in my apartment is off the record, right? Of course. What's said in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. So he spent decades eluding the cops. He made a fortune off of identity theft. Never busted. Well, that's the connection to Heath. He's helping Morgan Stern out along the way for a slice of the pie. No, it's easy to say, hard to prove. You've been hanging with the fuzz too much. You're getting unusually literally minded on this. Look, my friend is looking at prison time for what, a bad cop on a power trip? I mean, it's very easy to see things black and white right now. I had our archives check out her dad's dismissal. Uh-huh. Officially, the Morgan Stern case was never mentioned. Michelle's dad wasn't the officer in charge on that case. Guess right. who was? Heath. No, you're serious. So maybe Heath knew Michelle had Morgan Stern in her sights. Maybe. So if he's connected to Morgan Stern's racket, paving the way... Oh, he sees an elite IIB unit closing in on him. Why doesn't he just warn Morgan Stern? You know what? I heard some off-the-books chatter about Heath and a potential run at the mayor's office. Okay, so you're saying, well, he's maybe trying to clean up his image, cut his ties with Morgan Stern? So he sets Morgan Stern up. He sends him to the place, tells him to await further orders. Sends an anonymous tip to Michelle about his whereabouts. Mutually assured self-destruction. It's a very Heath Generation idea. Right, and just for insurance, he sends a cop who's on his payroll to make sure there's no loose ends. Morgan Stern was going to be swept off the board one way or another. Wow. I love how your mind works. I have no idea. I just, it's fun to watch. I have my moments. You're telling me. It's great. Very impressive. I know what you want. Yeah. You want this. Right. I should, yes, good call. Um, can you put the mushrooms in the pasta sauce and stir up the noodles? A theory is one thing. No matter how damning it may be, we still need the evidence to back it up. All right, so what's next? How do we go about bringing down a deputy chief of police? Same way we usually get the impossible done. Confront the one with the guilty mind. Bingo. I'll be with you shortly. Thank you. So how you doing? I'm a lawyer, Logan. I'm used to disappointment where my colleague's moral fiber is concerned. Present company accepted. Mm, likewise. But you should be saying this to Michelle, not me. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, three o'clock. Good. Alvin, good to see you again. I was sorry to hear about McCluskey. Yeah, not half as sore as I am. Deputy Chief, this is Toby Logan. He's with the unit. Logan? Yeah. How you doing? Call me Walt. All right, Walt. <laughs> this chief stuff makes me feel old. Not like Alvin to bring a wingman. He must like you. God help you. <laughs> Please, boys, take a load off. Thank you. Coffee? We're conscious of your time, and I suspect you know why we're here. And you know I can't help you. Not with internal affairs. Church and state work best separate. What if we could prove that McCoy and Slater made their recommendations based on something other than the facts? So, file an appeal. We got a procedure in place for everything from Shinola to shoelaces. You know the drill on this crap. An appeal would take months. I need McCluskey back on the clock now. There's still a few loose ends that we'd like to tie up in the Morgan Stern investigation. Such as? How he's never been caught. And why the two cops that went after him the hardest both lost their careers. Now, has it ever crossed your mind that this could be an inside job? This ends when, when I say, you've got more to you've lose, than, lose I do. than I do. Anything's possible. See, we think that his gun was removed from the crime scene, but we're getting static on which one of your guys was there at the time. 
good call grabbing the gun. Just make sure it doesn't turn up. I don't see that happening. Of course, I'm a glass half full kind of guy. I'll look into it. But, like I said, there's nothing I can do. Well, you can't blame us for trying. Nope. McCluskey was a great cop. I hope you managed to clear her name. Oh, we will. We're glass half full kind of guys. seen a ghost so what you got a crush on me or something constable partak you're just the glass half full kind of guy we we're looking for lucky for us you're easier to find than a missing gun so what's ib one with me well for starters you can tell us why you helped walter heath destroy a senior officer's career <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about all right well let's change the subject let's talk about what's in the trunk of your car the thing that you couldn't find coffee like that Oh, hey, I'm good. Thank you. You think I took the gun? Why would I do that? Oh, I don't know. Leverage, maybe? Against whoever told you to take it? But now you're left holding the bag, man. This is all on you. What do you want? Come on, you know what we want. Here's the thing. One of you is going down for this. I really don't care which one that is, so long as my officer's name is cleared. The ball's in your court. Our next conversation is going to be with Walter Heath. I'll give you 30 seconds to think it over. You'll get what I promised, but not until I'm sure this thing is buried. Didn't I tell you? A cute couple. Elvin, what the hell is this? Arrest warrants. I had a nice little chat with Constable Partak. He gave us everything. I can't believe you just threw it all away. You almost took me with you. Alvin, you're going to be one sorry son of a bitch when I'm finished with you. You have nothing. Like I said, Partak gave us everything. It's for you. It's over, Walter. See you soon. <sighs> Sir? What is it? Um, I got you these. Raptor tickets. Yeah. Premium seats. Mm -hmm. I'm getting nervous, Mr. Bay. Just how badly did you mess up that you felt the need to get me these? You know that hospital administrator's job? I, uh, I kind of applied for it and, uh... Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, you were the best man for the job. Well done. But you know I got it? Hold on, you're not mad? Are you kidding me? Come on, they called me and I gave you a glowing review. But I, but I, I thought you would have been disappointed. I mean, after all that time you spent helping me pass my supervisor's exam and then I go and do something like this, you know? Change is hard. Get over it. Besides, I'm still a young man, and I'm going to be here for a few years, so you have got plenty of time to usurp my throne. Well, I'll keep my usurping skills sharp, sir. You do that. OK. Oz? Yes, sir? Against the Lakers. It's going to be a bloodbath. You got any plans? Count me in, sir. All right. You got to do, do a fist. Do a fist, and then you blow it up. You do, just take your ticket. Thanks. Nice. Just see you at the game. Okay. I was lost, and I there she is. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I thought I was dreaming when you called. I think I still am dreaming. <laughs> I owe you an apology. No, I owe you one. I should have disclosed my dad's history. Yeah, you should have. Your dad was a great cop. And so are you. Yo! It's the great cops. 
and great consultants. Oh, no, come on, great teams. Oh, for God's sake, this is drink already. <laughs> Sounds good. It's a brand.